Welcome children to today's lesson. We are going to talk about formation of mountains on our earth. You remember when um, I told you the creation story? We talked about volcanoes. Some of the mountains we have on earth are actually the result of volcanoes that are no more active. We call those dead volcanoes. Over the years, they end up becoming mountains. So there are some mountains we have on earth that came about as a result of volcanoes that are no more active. But then we have so many other mountains that did not uh, come about as a result of volcanoes. There are other effects on earth that create mountains. So in our lesson today, you get to appreciate other ways that mountains on earth were created and that will enable you to begin to research on the different mountains that you already know about how they were actually created i'm sure you know some mountains like kilimanjaro you know about the andes you know about the alps and so many other mountains if you have been studying mountains so this lesson will enable you to actually research on how these various mountains we have on earth were created so let's go on to our lesson here we can see the layers of the strata lined up nicely and evenly just like they were formed when they were deposited can we see the layers of the earth lined up nicely and here as well they are all lined up nicely. The same thing here. The layers of the earth are lined up nicely, just like they were formed when they were deposited. But sometimes pressure in the earth causes cracks to form and the layers don't line up so evenly anymore. Like we see here, you can see it's cracks as a result of pressure in the crust of the earth. Here, can we see the cracks here? As a result of pressure in the crust of the earth. Now these cracks are called faults. Can we see the crack here and another crack here? They are called faults. Here we can see that the crack is vertical. So this is an example of a vertical fault. Here also the crack is vertical. So we call it a vertical fault. Here the crack is it vertical? No, it's oblique. So we call this an oblique fault. And here too, this is an example of an oblique fault. As the pressure pushes further and further, increasingly the rocks begin to move further and further apart. You see, as the pressure increases, the rocks begin to move apart. The rocks are moving apart until, as the pressure continues to increase, they end up falling apart like this. Now these falling pieces are called fractures. And the same thing here. As the pressure increases, the rocks begin to move further and further apart. And as the pressure continues to increase, they end up falling apart, as you see here. So in this way, the layers of the earth rearrange themselves sometimes.
So we can see before us a, a mountain here. I told you in my introduction that some mountains we have on earth were formed by volcanoes like we have here. They are considered dead volcanoes because they no longer erupt. The lava that came out of them built up and hardened into a mountain. Generally, one of the characteristics of a volcanic mountain is that it just rises suddenly on the surrounding land and just rises suddenly. They are usually conical in shape and appears to come out suddenly from the surrounding land. You can see the shape is conical. We have a number of mountains that were created in this way. So I would like you to carry out your own research on mountains created in this way. And remember they are called volcanic mountains. Most mountains are created by the result of pressure pushing on the crust, causing movement on the crust of the earth. Pressures exerted by the movements of the continents can result into the formation of mountains. Now the pressure I'm exerting by using my hands actually represent the pressures exerted by the movement of the continents. So you see, as a result of pressure pushing on the crust, movements on the crust of the earth cause the layers of the earth to fold up, like we see here in this demonstration. The land gets pushed very gradually over so many years, causing a fold that gets higher and higher. This is how many of the mountain ranges that we have on earth are formed. They are formed by this folding of the earth crust. Because they are formed in this way, they are called fold mountains. So as I've said before, if you have been learning some of the names of the major mountains of the earth, you may have come across some mountains that were formed in this way. Fold mountains. And sometimes, if there has been a landslide or highway being built through a mountain, some of the folded layers are exposed. So we can see how these look like fold mountains. So as I've said before, the layers of the earth rearrange themselves sometimes. In other words, the layers sort of rearrange themselves within the mountain. Sometimes the falls form in the earth just like this, as we see here. When this happens, the middle piece of land in between could drop. So we see that the land in between the faults drops. You can see it drops down the way we have seen it here. As a result, a valley is formed. This kind of valley is called a rift valley because it is caused by rifts in the earth crust. But sometimes when these falls form, the land in between the falls rises. 
So it says sometimes when the false form, the land in between the falls rises up like we see here. This is called a block mountain, a block mountain or a host. Often you find a host and a rift valley next to each other. I will show you a chart. So I said before that often you find a host and a rift valley next to each other. That's what you can see on this chart. Where the land has dropped here, like you see here and here, we have a rift valley. A rift valley, a rift valley. And where the land rises, we have a block mountain or a host. A block mountain, a block mountain or a host. You may have heard of the Great Rift Valley in Ethiopia that goes on for miles and miles. I wonder what the mountains next to them are. Maybe you want to look into the various mountain ranges that we have on the earth and find out which ones were formed in these different ways. I'll show you another chart that talks about fold mountains. So you can look at this chart here. We can see the layers of um, strata. You can see how straight and nice they are. And see, they are straight layers of strata, nicely arranged, just like they were formed at the beginning. But as we said, the layers sort of rearrange themselves within the mountain as a result of various effects. In this case, look at what has happened here. This is an example of a fold mountain. Remember we said when the land gets pushed very gradually over so many years the result is a fold mountain as we see here on this chart and a number of the mountain ranges on the earth are formed in this way fold mountains so it's your own turn to carry out research on the various ways mountains on the earth were formed or are even still being formed and I'm sure you know a number of the names of those mountains. And you can also work with the materials as you have been shown, formation of mountains.